Facebook, you can find someone and ask them to be your friend, but you can find them by searching their names before even requesting for them to be added to your friends list. So can you imagine if we did that in real life? Hey, Solis, will you be my friend? Miller, my friend? Huh? 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 Hi kids, I'm Pastor Ashley. Nowadays, you can find almost anything or everything on the internet. You can see what famous people are up to on their social media pages. You can find out any information you want to know with just a few keywords and a mouse click. So the internet might be a know-it-all, but how much do you know about any one topic? So let me ask you this. Just because you know facts about someone or something, does that mean you actually know them? Not always. We can know things about people without knowing them very well or at all. Today we are going to talk about what it means to really know someone and also for someone to really know us. Let's start today by worshiping God together.
questions and you are going to stand up if your answer is yes or sit down if your answer is no, okay? Stand up for yes, sit down for no. Do you have the Messenger Kids app? Do you have your own electronic device at home? Do you know the meaning of your name? Do your parents know your favorite subject in school? Does your teacher at school know your last name? Do you know that someone loves and cares about you? Let's say today's big idea together. Jesus knows us. Say it again. Jesus knows us. Awesome. Let's check out what Cool Carl is up to today, and then we're going to do our memory verse together. Hey there, chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Andy. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Grow TV. TV. <laughs> oh, I really popped you in the nose. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Welcome to Grow TV. Roll the intro. Ouch. Welcome to Grow TV. Boosted by where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to TV. Let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yes, we Perfect. are so in sync today. Almost like we could finish each other's... Sandcastles at the beach. I was going to say sentences, but... You know, I wonder how well we actually know each other. Me too. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ask, Ask each, each other questions, questions that will prove how great friends, friends we truly are? are? Yes! So we're gonna take turns asking each other questions and then you're gonna have to answer for what you think my answer would be. Got it? Got it. Perfect. All right, what is my favorite drink? Easy, Theodore Roosevelt. What? What was the question? My favorite drink, Carl. Oh, I have no idea. But that's not a big deal, because I bet you don't know what my favorite drink Hot is. Hot chocolate with a half a pound of whipped cream on top. Yes. Oh, man, you're good. All right, well, describe my perfect day. <clears throat> oh, man. Um, going to the zoo? Not even close. Sleep until 3 p.m. Have first and second breakfast. Watch monster trucks with Maymaw. The, then order in some chicken nuggets, and then watch Veggie Tales until I pass out. Wow, I was way off. I guess we really don't know each other as well as we thought. Guess not. We're like Jesus and Nathaniel. What do you mean? I mean like in today's story, in John chapter one. Jesus was leaving Galilee and then he found Philip. You remember that, right? Yeah, I think so. Jesus saw Philip and told him to follow him. Then didn't Philip go like find his friend Nathaniel who was sitting underneath a fig tree? He sure did. But when Philip told him that everything the prophet said a long time ago about the Savior had come true, Nathaniel doubted him. If I'm being honest, I probably would have too. That's a huge thing to say, and when people have been waiting a long time to meet Jesus. They sure have. And then Jesus saw Nathaniel, and Jesus told him a ton of things that there's no way he could have known, right? Yeah, and Nathaniel's like, what? Jesus even knew that Nathaniel was under that fig tree. Yeah, and then Jesus was like, I knew you, and I saw you before Philip even told me about you. And Nathaniel's like, what? Totally, then Nathaniel finally told Jesus that he believed not only that he was the son of God, but he was also the savior. I mean, how cool is that? All it took for Nathaniel to have faith is to know that Jesus cared about Nathaniel enough to know about him. Pretty cool. Jesus is awesome. It reminds me of the Bible passage in Psalm 139. It says that God knows us, God searches us, and God knows our thoughts even from far away. I don't know, I think it just makes me feel better knowing that God knows everything about me, you know? No secrets. Yeah, it's hard sometimes when people don't understand you and you feel alone sometimes. Do you think God knows that? 100%. Jesus showed Philip and Nathaniel that following Jesus really isn't as hard as we make it out to be sometimes. And it gets a lot easier once we realize that God knows everything there is to know about us. What we like and what we don't, when we're happy and when we're sad. Does God know what I had for breakfast? Of course. And I know too. Spinach omelet, right? Yeah. How'd you know about that? Your breath is pretty pungent today, so. Oh. My bad. So I don't know about you, but I feel a lot better about our friendship. We may not know everything about one another, but I think we have fun. We sure do. And I don't care who knows what about me. Only thing I care about is that Jesus knows us. Well, I know something. Hmm. That's our big idea. <laughs> I doubt it. It is. Watch. One, two, three. No. Oh. That okay. was. That was. One, two, three. There we go. 
Big ID intro. Is that happening? Music, yep. Yeah. You see the confetti around us? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's the letters being in front of our faces. Why can't I feel yeah, like, it? If you, you can be underneath the letters. Okay. <laughs> Today's big idea is Jesus knows us. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. three. Jesus, Jesus knows, knows us! us. Yeah! yeah. 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 Ooh, 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 ooh. Here we go. Yeah. What's up? Big idea. Here we go. What's up? It's your first time. So we don't know each other as well as we thought we did, but... I bet you can't guess how many fingers I'm holding up under this table. Um, three. Nope. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. See you next week, kids. Down! <laughs> Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. John 14, 6. Jesus answered, I am the way, and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let's read John 1, 43 through 51 together. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. Philip was from the town of Bethsaida, where Andrew and Peter lived. Philip found Nathanael and told him, remember that Moses wrote in the law about a man who was coming and the prophets also wrote about him? We have found him. He is Jesus, the son of Joseph. He is from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to Philip, Nazareth? Can anyone, anything good come from Nazareth? Philip answered, come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him. He said, here is truly a person of Israel. There is nothing false in him. Nathanael asked, how do you know me? Jesus answered, I saw you and you were under the fig tree. That was before Philip told you about me. Then Nathanael said to Jesus, teacher, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus said to Nathanael, you believe in me because I told you I saw you under the fig tree, but you will see greater things than that. And Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, you will all see heaven open. You will see angels of God going up and coming down on the Son of Man. While Jesus was about to leave town, Philip, a follower of Jesus, was so excited about Jesus that he told one of his friends, Nathaniel, all about Jesus. See, Philip told Nathaniel that Jesus was the savior they had been waiting for. And even though Nathaniel was nervous, he decided to go meet Jesus for himself. Do you think Philip was a good friend for inviting Nathaniel? Before Nathaniel even said a word, Jesus greeted him like an old friend and mentioned things about Nathaniel that only Nathaniel would know. Jesus said he saw Nathaniel under a fig tree before Philip went to talk to him. How do you think Jesus knew about this? Hmm. We don't know if Jesus actually saw Nathaniel and we're not even sure if Jesus even is even talking about the same day. But we do know Nathaniel was very surprised to hear this from Jesus. There, are, there was no internet back then, so Jesus couldn't have looked up facts about Nathaniel, used satellite images or anything like that. Nathaniel knew the only way Jesus knew so much about him was that he had to be the son of God and the savior everyone has been waiting for and talking about. Sometimes, we vloggers like to play games. Who loves fun games? I can't hear you! But I bet everyone watching just said yes. This is a fun game to get to know someone. I'm going to ask my friend Gavin a bunch of silly questions and we'll see how well we know each other. Hey Gavin! <laughs> how are you? Hey Kelly, I'm great! That's awesome! Are you ready for today's game? Yes, I can't wait. Okay, well here we go. First question, would you rather swim in a pool of jello or swim in a pool of ice cream? Hmm, I take ice cream. It would be the yummiest swimming pool ever. Oh, that's cool. I would rather swim in a pool of jello. Ice cream is 
is way too sticky. Okay, how about this one? Would you rather be the size of an ant or the size of a house? Ooh, that's a hard one. I would go with the ant size. It would be fun to crawl into tiny places. Really? I would rather be the size of a house. If I were a small ant, I would be scared of getting crushed. Oh wow, our answers are really different. I thought for sure we would have the same answers. Well, that's okay, Callie. We have different answers. That doesn't mean we don't know each other. You're right. I bet we will have the same answer to the next question though. Would you rather take a nap or listen to a Bible story? Let's say it at the same time. One, two, three. Bible story! It's time for our Bible story. Today, we will learn a story about Jesus' disciples. What's a disciple? A disciple was someone who followed Jesus. They learned from Jesus. They ate with Jesus. They traveled with Jesus. They saw Jesus do amazing things. So they're like friends? Yeah, they were. One day, Jesus saw a man named Philip and said to him, follow me. Philip decided to follow Jesus right away. Just like that, he knew that there was something very special about Jesus. That's why he even went and told his friend Nathaniel all about Jesus too. What did he say? Philip told Nathaniel that Jesus was the savior they had been waiting for. For a long time. Yes, a very long time. And even though Nathaniel was nervous, he decided to go meet Jesus for himself. That had to be exciting. I know, right? When Nathaniel met Jesus, he didn't even have to say anything. Jesus started talking and said things about Nathaniel that only Nathaniel would know. Like what? Well, Jesus said he knew that Nathaniel was sitting under a fig tree before Philip came to talk to him. Now Nathaniel was pretty sure that Jesus was nowhere near that tree. So how did he know that? Nathaniel knew the only way Jesus was able to do this was because Jesus really was the savior they had been waiting for. Jesus told Nathaniel that by becoming Jesus' disciple, he would even see more amazing things. Isn't it crazy that Jesus knew Nathaniel was under that fig tree? Yeah, Jesus knows everything. I had fun learning more about you, Callie. Gotta go now. See you later, Callie. Okay, bye. I like that we are all getting to know each other through this vlog. But you know what gets me? So warm and fuzzy inside that Jesus knows everything about us too. He knows our names, our favorite color, our favorite food, what makes us happy, and what makes us sad. And I like that when I need someone to talk to, I can talk to him. Jesus knows us, and that makes me want to know Jesus better every day. Friends, it's time for me to run. Catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, ladies. Guys, let's say someone sent you a friend request on a social media platform, kind of like Messenger Kids or Instagram. And it says, so-and-so wants to be your friend. What are some reasons why you would accept the request? And what are some reasons why you might ignore the request or decline it? You can make friends so easily online these days that we often forget what it means to be a good friend. Let's think together. What does it mean to be a good friend? They could be things like someone who you have fun with. That's a good friend. Someone who's nice to you. That's a good friend. Someone you get along with. Someone who wants the best for you. Someone who knows you. Someone who's safe to talk to. Maybe someone who teaches you things you didn't know. After checking out this list, based on what we discussed, is Jesus a good friend? I think so. And maybe you're still learning about how much God loves you and how much God wants to be friends with you and how God sent his only son to bridge the gap between him and us. And he sent Jesus to pay for the punishment of sin by dying on the cross for us. So if you've never asked Jesus to be your best friend and the leader of your life, I want you to know that it's as easy as ABC. A, admit that you have sinned against God and have made mistakes. 
B, believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and rose from the dead on the third day. And C, confess. Confess Jesus as the savior of your life and commit to following him always. Let's close out today's um, service in a worship song. And honestly, let's see what our best friend and Holy Spirit has to say to us today. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears are gone I'm no longer a slave to fear oh I am a child of God I'm no longer a slave I am a child of God From my mother's womb You have chosen me Love has called my name I've been born again family your blood flows through my veins I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child of God I'm no longer a slave to fear oh I am Alright everyone, know that you're super special, give yourselves a tight squeeze and we'll see you next week.